eight. So um, the Battle for Azeroth uh, beta, well, we're calling it alpha, but it's really just the beta. Class changes are up. So I'm going to go through the Monk, Shaman, and Druid. Because that's what I play. Uh, so yeah. And like I'll understand what the changes mean. If any do come up. Uh, Druid's Frenzy, Regen change. Alright, it's taking too long. Tiger Dash. <laughs> taking too long. How many Stews have returned? It's cool. Oh, they never stagger. Uh, new talents, cool, 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 cool. Ooh, tremor, re tremor totem is returning. So that's fun. Uh, racials, I guess. Uh, Valf got nerfed. Legendary procs. I don't care about those. Okay, glasses. Cool. So I don't play Death Knight. I don't play Demon Hunter. Druid. All right. Okay. So let me read this out loud. Called down a strike of lunar energy, causing 85% of spell power. So <coughs> it was nerfed from 319 to 85%. Spell power, arcane to the target, and 319, and then it was nerfed of again to all enemies, to arcane damage to all other enemies. Okay, so that's just the AoE effect. Um, generates a total. So I guess that's just a general nerf. Uh, so Starlight didn't change at all. Um, oh okay. Uh, Moon can form change. So it's getting rid of the arcane and nature damage and just the damage of your druid spells. That probably makes sense. Uh, nerf the armor by 75%. <coughs> so instead of it giving 200% armor, it gives 125. Granny polymorph of protection. Yeah, that's standard. Still there. Oh, they're removing corruption. Oh no, that's just the name of the spell. Never mind. <laughs> uh, cost change from 13% of base mana to 6.5%. So a little bit of a nerf. Solar Wrath. 225% uh, to 60%. Another nerf. Huh. Generates no astral power. What? Why would they do that? That makes getting astral power so good. We're gonna have to change up how we play balance now. That sucks. <coughs> Calls down. Okay, Starfall. Uh, from forty-five percent to nine percent spell power. Another nerf. Uh, so boom, boomies are getting nerfed. Although. I want to think that this is probably part of the stat squish that's going to happen, but I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. It's looks like a nerf to me. Sunfire, blah blah blah. So Sunfire got nerfed. Hmm. <coughs> Displacer Beast was removed. It's going to be hard for to get some mobility. Now you might have to take um, that beast one that makes you leap backwards. Uh, shooting stars got nerfed. Stellar flare got nerfed. But who the fuck uses that? <laughs> well, actually, I use it in PvP, but <laughs> for PvE, uh, you don't want to take that. <coughs> Prickling thorns. Okay, that's PvP. I don't really care about that. Artifact traits. Uh, I'm not going to go over any artifact traits because 
I'm just because that artifacts are going away we're not taking them back so you know once Legion is done with these will be completely irrelevant okay <coughs> feral so nerf across the board for ferocious bite nerf I think this is the stat squish that's probably why everything looks like it's getting nerfed I think it's the stat squish but I don't play feral here we go guardian this is where this is what I play so okay frenzy regen so they're changing it from 50% of all damage taken in the last 5 seconds over 3 seconds to 25% of maximum health over 5 seconds. Okay. <coughs> cooldown change. Okay, and the cooldown was increased. So, I, it's kind of like, it's an adjust, right? When, now if you're in a dungeon and you're doing a big uh, pack pull, you you can't do some crazy healing because that's 50% of all damage taken. It's pretty much like the 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 death knight uh strike thing. And well, I don't play death knight at max level. I have one all <laughs> Anyways. So this will this is generally it's kind of a buff, but when you're doing big pulls, it's kind of a nerf. I think in a fight, in a boss fight, this will be a general buff, and in smaller pack pulls, this will be a buff. But if you, you're doing some crazy pulls, it'll uh, be a nerf. And the cooldown was increased, which kind of sucks. New effect on pulverize. Oh fuck! Did not mean to do that. Wasn't pulverize pulverize used to be the stun. Devastating blow that consumes two stacks of your thrash on the target, dealing two hundred eighty nine percent physical damage, and reduces all damage you take by nine percent. So it's no longer a stun. Now what's the stacks of thrash shit I'm seeing? Is it is it like a new passive? Oh fuck. Okay, come on. Oh. Oh. Why am I here? <laughs> wow, that is so laggy. Okay. Oh. Oh fuck. Come on, we can get there. We can get back to the druids. Alright, we're back, we're back. Uh, so Pulverize is no longer a stun. Okay, so I think what that means is because you can put three stacks of thrash on a target. So, I think what Pulverize is supposed to do is that it removes two of those stacks and does a little bit instant damage. I think that'll be interesting as a DPS pick, but you're no longer, but that's also another CC ability being removed. So let's put it that way. We're getting damage, but we're losing some CC. Mangle has a new effect. Uh, Maul has a new effect, so let's check that out. Mangle target for 131 physical damage at level 44. Deals 20% additional damage against bleeding targets. Interesting. Generates 8 rage. Maul. Okay, so pretty much nothing changed with Maul. Oh wait, here we go. <laughs> Here's the... Here they are. So, Iron Fur increases 
armor by 40% of your agility for 7 seconds. So that's the new effect. It used to just increase armor by 65% every si for 6 seconds, but now we have an extra second, and it's 40% of your agility. Hmm. I can't really tell if that's a nerf or not. I feel like it should be good. Because on Guardian, your main stat is agility. Interesting. Got a s that m that might be a that might be a buff. I'm not really sure yet. I I don't have access to the the beta, so uh mangle from three eighty to one thirty one. Now gives eight rage instead of five. Okay. Nature's Guardian doesn't change. Oh, sorry. I'm all from uh, 750 to 255. Uh, remove Corruption. Cost change from 13% of the base mana to 6.5. So that's a buff for Guardians. It's kind of weird. <laughs> we can't even use it in our bear form. Stamp Roar. Uh, ooh. The range was increased from 10 yards to 15. That's cool. So that's a buff right there. It's awesome ability. Uh, brambles. So it reflects uh, 0 0.2 instead of 0 0.24 of attack power from each attack. Uh, while Bark Skin is active, Brambles also deals. Wow. It's a big decrease from 21% to 3%. I, I think that's the stat squish again. I don't think that's anything important. Oh, what? Guttural Roars got gutted. They removed the, the radius buff for Stampeding Roar. What it used to be is currently on live. Increases radius of Stampeding Roar by 200%. And radius of impasticating roar by a hundred percent and reduces all and reduces the cooldown of stamp roar. Okay. So the cooldown reduction is still there, but the radius is lowered. Hmm. I don't think that's gonna be that bad to be honest. I think in a raid group, um you know, some people are gonna get left behind, but in a dungeon group I don't think anything will change. Lunar Beam. What the? People actually take that? Alright, it got nerfed, whatever. Wait, has Pulverize always been like that? I'm probably thinking of a different one. Let me check the calculator. Guardian Druid. I'm thinking of Mighty Bash. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was thinking about Mighty Bash the whole time. I'm dumb. Okay, Rage of the Sleeper got nerfed. That's nothing important. Resto, I don't play Resto. So we are going to skip this. Tiger Dash. <coughs> Increases the movement by 200%. Reducing gradually over 4 seconds. So it's probably going to be the same thing. To be honest. Name change from Dash to Tiger Dash. Okay. Now balance Feral Resto Spell. Requires level 30. Up from 8 down change from one minute to 45 seconds cool don't play hunter don't play mage monk here we go <coughs> brewmaster 2 here we go here we go blackout strike <coughs> okay so blackout strike was lowered that's the that's the stat squish speaking 
Breath of Fire was lowered. That's the stat, stat squish. And generating a stack of elusive balls for each token. St what? <coughs> that made... Oh, come on. That's so cheap. Brewmasters were so fun. Are so good in dungeons because of that. Although I think that's... I think that's a tier bonus. Whatever. Uh, target's also affected by Google Burn. Yep. Over eight seconds. And dealing 5% reduced damage to you. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if that's a thing. But that's cool. Okay, so we crossed winds. Not called that alive. All right, let's see. If use. Okay, nerf stat squish. Cooldown change from 21 second recharge to 16 second recharge. Yes. Oh my god. Sick. Iron Iron Skin Brew was uh given a buff. Qu um. Cooldown buff. Although the amount you delay with Staggery is nerfed by 5%. I think it'll be okay. Stagger's kind of an insane ability. Okay. Kick Smash. Damage nerfs. Whatever. Reducing movement by 20% instead of 50%. Aw. Well, yeah, there goes any brewmaster potential for PvP. That sucks. Reducing main cooldown all your brews by four seconds. Okay, so nothing there changed. Uh, yeah, elusive brawler. So breath of fire was taken out of the elusive brawler thing. That sucks. I think they, I think they added that in in Legion, too. They added that in. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, okay, so here we go. Iron Skin was nerfed, but Purifying was buffed, so now it clears 50% of the damage you delay with Stagger. And cooldown also reduced. Cool. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. So... <coughs> okay, with, so with Stagger, it's 40% of all damage, right? But now magical attacks is twenty percent. Damn. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to take that talent then. Hmm, that sucks. Alright, Eye of the Tiger. Um Dealing Nature Damage. Okay, so just reduced, yeah. Summon the so rushing jade wind nerfed a little bit. Oh, I guess it was removed from Windwalker. Okay, so specialization was changed from Brewmaster slash Windwalker to just Brewmaster. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, special delivery. Dealing. Okay, nerfed. Yes, yeah, that's squish. Blah blah blah. Summon Black Ox statue was removed from when so when walkers can no longer take Russian Jade Wind or Black Ox statue. Interesting. <coughs> Artifact traits irrelevant. Mistweaver, I don't play. Even though I play Monk, I don't play Mistweaver. I haven't played Mistweaver yet, so I'm not gonna go with that. I don't want to say any information that I that might be wrong. Afterlife uh, nerfed. Afterlife was squished. Cyclone was squished. Damage is increased by ten percent for each. Okay, so that was nerfed. Yeah, nerfed. Fist of Fury. Here we go. So 
So we squished to your primary target and damage over four seconds to other targets. Isn't that already how it is? Well, there's just math here. I don't know what that means. So it's at your high speed for two seconds. Okay, use again. Blah blah blah. I got damage up squished. Mastery uh, combo strikes. Nothing changes. Cool. Squished. Squished. So all these spinning crane kick was squished down. Stance of the Fierce Tiger. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. So the Tiger Stance just passively increases all damage dealt by 500%. Maybe that'll make up for all this squishing down. Huh. Now I'm starting to wonder if it's really a squish or if it's just a straight up nerf. Uh, Talents Ascension. Not only increases your maximum chi, also your maximum energy by 20. Probably still shouldn't take it. Chi orbit was removed. New combo, new combo breaker. In place of uh, ox statue, when tiger palm causes bl the blackout kick effect, the cooldown of s rising sun kick is reset. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I kind of like that. Energizing elixir. So not only does it refill your energy, it also generates two chi. Okay. So they're really trying to like incorporate combos into the Wind Walker playstyle. I really like that. Fist of the White Tiger. So that's new. Strike your target in the technique of the white tiger blah 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 physical damage while generating three chi okay so it's a strike that generates three chi but it's in place of leg sweep so is leg sweep removed it didn't say anything about leg sweep being removed so i think it's gonna be yeah it didn't it's not saying anything about leg sweep being removed so i think it's um it's going to be like next to leg sweep. Maybe it'll be good for um for PVP I or PvE. Sorry, I don't see it being useful at all for PVP. You need CC in PVP. It's just how it is. But in PVE um <coughs> I guess if you already have a tank with uh like a tank with CC, you could probably um, spec out of leg sweep. Hit combo is now 1% instead of 2%. Inner strength. HG you spend reduces damage taken by 3% for 4 seconds in place of healing elixir. That's probably, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Healing elixir literally saves you from death twice. Because what it does is that when you get below 30% um you heal instantly something like that you just heal instantly so i don't i don't see like damage reduction by 3% being that useful unless it stacks if it stacks then i see some potential Invoke Zuin. Uh, for okay, so it was nerfed by about 20 seconds, 25 seconds, whatever. I can't do math. Uh, blah blah blah. For less attack na or less nature damage. Cooldown reduced by a minute. Cool. Power strikes every 15 seconds. Your next tiger palm will generate one additional chi and 200% additional damage. Hmm. 
That might be a good talent to take now. I don't know. Rushing Jade Wind. Summons a Whirling Tornado around you. Until cancelled to 8 enemies within... Or to enemies within 8 yards. I thought that was removed. Oh. What? Okay, so they just reworked uh, Jade Wind. No longer applies Mark of the Crane. Alright. Um, Serenity. So, nothing changed. Oh, okay, this version of Rushing Jade has been Brewmaster only. Serenity has not been changed at all. Wind Strikes is new. <coughs> when you use Fist of Fury, your next three Tiger Palm attacks release release a gust of wind that deals 150 physical damage to all enemies eight yards in front of you. Hmm. That would be that would be really good for AOE. Bruma uh Windwalkers are already really good at AOE. I see you know, with these changes I I see Windwalkers being more useful in PvE because they now they have a lot of good AoE potential. Their you know their single target still might kind of be spotty, but their AoE is going to be more crazy than it already is. Okay, so Breath of Fire. Oh wait, Chi Burst, Chi Burst. Okay, Miss Weaver, blah blah blah. It deals one nature damage. I don't think Chi Burst is complete yet. Chi Burst generates one Chi, blah blah blah. Uh, Brewmaster, blah 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 blah. Okay. Chi Wave. So it was just squished down. Crackling Jade, squished down. Not even... Sometimes knocking back melee attackers. So... A healing Sphere. Kill an enemy, someone has a healing Sphere, blah blah blah, when you walk through it. Kill an enemy with Blackout Kick, you have pitch percent chance. Oh, I missed time to play that. Strike the Wind Lord. Oh, is that becoming a regular ability? Strike with both fists of the heavens and. I hope Strike of the Wind Lord becomes a main ability. That'd be cool. <coughs> it's specifically for Mist Weaver. No, oh, they're all the same. <laughs> Alright, so Tiger Palm's been squished down. Talents. Flaherty reduces cooldown of just cheap torpedo. So they oh no they got rid of roll. Oh no. They got rid of roll. I th yeah, I think they gutted roll. I think it's just Chi Torpedo now. Because Chi Torpedo uh, is no longer a talent. Now it's spell. Yeah, they got rid of roll. That sucks. I love roll. They got to turn into a glyph then. Glyph of the roll. <laughs> I love seeing my fat panda... I, well, I l did love seeing my fat panda, like, roll around. The Chi Torpedo. Ah. A little story time. Sorry for the yawn, by the way. Okay, uh, story time. Um, 
I used to take roll because in Warlords of Draenor we had the old glyph system still. So I would just take roll and take the <laughs> increased uh, speed, movement speed with well, every time you roll, and it would stack too. Uh, but then they gutted that, and now glyphs are fucking cosmetic. And yeah, now it's just G torpedo. That sucks. Uh, Dampen Harm, no longer given to Windwalkers. <coughs> healing Elixir. Okay, Healing Elixir is now a spell. Hmm. Interesting. Leg Sweep is the s- Okay, so Leg Sweep is a spell. So that that makes sense for that's making sense for those other talents. Leg sweep and healing elixir are now just spells, they're no longer talents. Okay. Cooldown was increased uh from forty five seconds to one minute. That's kinda sucks, but whatever. Oh, but there's a talent to put the <laughs> cooldown to fucking reduce by 15 seconds. Alright, I don't see the point in that, but whatever. Ring of Peace, now a Windwalker spell. Uh, now we're gonna look for Shaman, specifically Elemental. I wanna see if anything changed for Elemental. Uh, Earth Shock, Nature Damage, and up to 400 additional nature damage based on Maelstrom spent. Okay. <coughs> so, like, nothing changed. <laughs> Consumes up to 60 Maelstrom when cast. Elemental focus was removed. Um... Okay, so Earthquake was, has a, six more seconds. Cost change from none to zero, Maelstrom plus 30 per second. Okay. Cast time, cast change from instant to 2.5 second cast. Cooldown change from none to 15 seconds. Alright. That kind of sucks. Instead of it being like kind of a quick oh shit button when your um electric totem is off cooldown now it's like uh you have to really think about it. Epicenter. Each target hit by chain lightning increases the damage of your next earthquake by twenty percent and reduces the cast time of your next earthquake by twenty percent. Oh okay. So that's how you get past the cast time, I guess. Use chain lightning so elemental is also gonna be a big AOE class then. Fire Elemental uh, nerfed from 1 minute to 30 seconds of uptime. All Greater Elemental is active uh, allows her to recharge 0% faster. Okay, so that's not complete. Cooldown change from 5 minutes to 2.5 minutes. Oh, that's nice though. That's nice. So you have it for less, but you kind of get it up more. Hmm. Flame shock. Uh no longer 80% of spell power, it's 600 to 700 fire damage and then an additional 2000 fire damage. So it's no longer just spell power, it's fire damage specifically. Okay. Removed flame shock. Flame shock is right here. Cost change from none to 3% of base mana. Yeah, like mana and shamans is just kind of like pointless. <laughs> we don't. We only use it for healing. The flame shock has no cooldown. We'll spend 20 maelstrom. Okay, so that's removed. I think. Anyways, I don't know. Frost shock chills the target with frost. Spell power. Nothing changed. Oh, new. Fulmination. 
When you earth shock a target, every 25 maelstrom you have, up to 75, will cause the target will take an additional 100 damage from lightning bolt. So they're trying to bring it to the single target as well. Because the elemental has pretty much... It's pretty much just an AoE spec. It's single damage. Kinda sucks dick. So I guess this is gonna try to bring in some more single target. That's nice. Healing Surge is now based on friendly target's health. And it costs no mana. Cool. Lava Burst is fire damage instead of spell power. Lava Burst will always critically strike if the target is affected by Flame Shock. Yep. Cost change from 6% of base mana to 1.2% of base mana cooldown. Change from eight second recharge to eight second cool down. Charges change from one charges to none. Aww. Can't have two anymore. That's a kind of a shame. Cause I think it's a talent right now that you can have two. So I guess they gutted the talent. <coughs> Lightning bolt. Nothing changed. Uh, elemental overload. Really, nothing changed. Yeah, nothing changed. Talents. Aftershock. Now requires level 30, down from 60. In place of Gust of Wind. Which, Aftershock is your spells refund 30% of all Maelstrom spent on them. Astro Swiftness. It increases hits by 6%. Only enhancement now. Earth and Rage. Your damage expels in sight. Earth around them, blah blah blah. Spell power, nothing changed. Electric Discharge. Increases bonus damage of Lightning Bolt from Fulmination by 20% in place of Ascendance. Interesting. End of Elemental Blast. Uh, nothing changed. Oh wait. So I think Elemental Blast, okay, Elemental Blast is now, requires level 60 down from 75 in place of Elemental Mastery, which is a talent that increases your haste. Or at least it did. See, Elemental Forces empower you for 20% haste over 20 seconds. Now Lightning Bolt has a 10% chance to cause your Earth Shock to not consume any Maelstrom for 5 seconds. Lava Burst has a chance to cause Frost Shock to deal... 20% increased damage over 5 seconds. Hmm. Adding a little bit of RNG there. To, uh... The ability. Cast time change from instant to none. Alright. Tier 2 talent. In place of Astral Guidance, an Elemental Fusion has been removed. Gust of Wind changed from Elemental to Resto to just Resto, so there goes any mobility for Elemental. High Voltage is new. Lightning Bolt can now cause a second Elemental Overload. And it's a talent in place of Liquid Magma Totem. So I think they're trying to push a, like a lightning kind of theme. Because this, expan this expansion has been pretty fire based. Uh, I think they're trying to make it kind of an electric based. Interesting. Um, Ice Fury, nothing changed. Oh, never mind, it got removed. So Ice Fury's gone. That's kind of kind of unfortunate. It's pretty cool for PvP. Lightning Rod removed. God, they're fucking purging all these cool abilities. Like, Lightning Rod was a pretty cool ability because if a target had Lightning Rod, well, I'm sure any shaman watching this knows, I wouldn't. If a target has Lightning Rod, then it just takes more damage. Which I guess is what 
that other ability is trying to accomplish. Uh, Liquid Magma Totem, nothing changed. Molten Fury. Lava Surge now also causes Lava Burst to generate 50% more Maelstrom. That's kind of cool. And Place of Earth and Rage. Nature's Guardian. Attacks that bring your health below 30% increase your maximum health by 25 for 10 seconds. Cannot occur once every more than once every 30 seconds in place of elemental fusion. So that's a defensive. Path of Flame was... Re yeah, they're just getting rid of all the fire abilities. Path of Flame re re removed. Primal Elementist. Your Earth, Fire, Storm, Elemental, Jaw. Well, we know what they do. But... Now requires level 90, up from 75, in place of Storm Elemental. New talent. Seismic Armor. Targets affected by your Earthquake deal 2% less... Sorry, 20% less damage to you. In place of Primal Elementus. Stormkeeper. Charge yourself with lightning, causing your next two lightning bolts or chain lightnings to be instant cast. Trickle Elemental Overload. So that's the... That is the artifact ability. Name change from Static Overload to Stormkeeper. Now an Elemental spell. Cast time change from instant to 1.5 seconds. Well, it's always been a cast time. Cooldown change from none to one minute. I think it's always been one minute. So, I mean, it's good that they bring that back because that's a pretty big part of the elemental play style now with the AoE. It's kind of a crazy ability. Storm elemental calls forth blah, blah, blah. While it's active, each time you cast Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning, the cast time of Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning is reduced by 3%. Stacking up to 30 times, though. That's kind of kind of cool. Yeah, they're really pushing this like Lightning shit. Now requires level 60, down from 90. In place of Astral Swiftness. New Volcanic Rage. Erupt a volcano under your target's location. Got a little typo there. Fire damage to all enemies within 8. Applying flame shock to all targets hit for 12 seconds. Oh. So that's kind of like a... Uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. You erupt a volcano. We I don't think we've done that before. Like we got earthquakes. We water, lightning, wind. <laughs> Not a volcano, though. In place of Windrush Totem. Artifact traits are relevant. Uh, I don't really play Enhancement. I played it for a little while, but then I respect to Elemental. Uh, want to go over General down here. So, yeah, there's that. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, well, I pretty much went over all the classes I play. Um, I think they're kind of interesting changes. There's some interesting changes. There's some changes I don't really like. Overall, I don't think I'll be having a bad time. I'm just going to miss the fire elemental. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, like it. Uh, I'm going to try to make more WoW videos. Because, um... This is the game I play the most, so. Uh, yeah. See ya.